Okay, this is the second part. Just a lot to talk about about uh, Cota Pacquiao. Um, back to where I was saying. Uh, okay, so so I talked about uh, what I thought of uh, what I thought of the fights that each one of them has had lately, and what people say about them. Now, the way this is our prediction. This is where our predictions come in. Uh, the way I see, the only way I see Pacquiao beating Cotto, is Pacquiao runs in there, hits and runs the entire time, which is kind of disappointing because lately we had Mayweather Marquez and we also had Chris Arola versus Klitschko, where we thought maybe they might, I mean Mayweather Marquez was kind of obvious, but at least Klitschko Arola, we hoped that there was going to be some action considering that they were both, they were both uh, 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 I guess, people that went forward and attacked. Uh, and and instead we saw we saw one attacking a lot, the other one running a lot. And the same thing when uh and and uh Mayweather Market. So I see the only way Pacquiao beating Cotto is by hitting and and getting out. Trading punches is definitely not gonna get him the fight. If he trades punches with Cotto he's gonna get in big trouble. Uh and and Cotto needs to cut the ring and just stop Pacquiao from running. And also that, that uh Used to jab a lot and and time time his punches correctly to uh to stop Pacquiao and run. Uh, so my prediction is actually I, I I'm going to give it to Cotto. I do not see Pacquiao doing uh, beating Cotto. This is Cotto's biggest fight of his career, and of course it's Pacquiao's too. But Cotto really needs this win. If just imagine if Cotto takes out Pacquiao, it's huge. And so I predict I actually think. Uh, I predict Nate Brown KO uh, or TKO by by Cotto. The reason is because the few, first few rounds Pack is going to be too fast. Cotto's going to still try to attack a lot, but it's going to be Pack is going to be just too quick for for uh, for uh, for Cotto. Then by the eighth round, they're both tired, but Cotto has shown before that he's still good enough to use his power and and and, and uh, cut the ring and use his power. So. So I think an eighth round would slow Pacquiao enough for Cotto to catch him, and Cotto will still, it won't be too late for Cotto to be uh, too tired. So Cotto will still be uh, good enough to uh, land those body shots on Pacquiao and put him on the ground. So it's eight rounds to KO or KO by Cotto. I, okay, I have two predictions, but just really, uh, I'm, I'm gonna lean, I'm gonna try to lean more against uh, two one than the other one. Um, I'm saying I'm I'm going for Cotto too. He's a he's a bigger man. He's a better skill. He's got the better skill. He's got that great timing that everybody talks about. Um, and uh, like Christian said, for the first three rounds, maybe first three rounds, maybe first two, four, maybe four rounds. Uh, Pack is gonna be too fast. Maybe uh, now nothing big is gonna land that's gonna daze Cotto because. I just went through the plaster thing. Um, um, if it's, if it's ta- if it's his stamina is, is like increased since like the last two fights, from the last two fights, then I, it's, it's this score for sure for a knockout. And I'm thinking it will be a s- between it will be between the rounds where where, where I think back is gonna give up because it's just gonna be too much taken to him. Uh, it will be between. Uh, Seven, between the seven and the eight, and and the other prediction was that I think if, if Pacquiao takes this, it's because of throwing too many punches, and he'll take a, he'll, he'll take a maybe a tight decision on on uh, on points. Pacquiao might take on points, so there you go. So I'm leaning more again, more to close. My prediction is twofold, but just like theirs for Cotto. I think we'll take it because of his skill and the fact that he's he can take the punch from back out. He can time. He's he can cut off the ring. He's been known to cut off the ring. Time great punches. And Pacquiao, he hasn't had his chin tested in the last couple of fights, but against Cotto, it's going to be the biggest puncher he's fought in a long time. Make actually the biggest punch he's ever fought. And I think Cotto's going to be able to get in there, get his body, maybe slow him down to the later rounds, and take him out. Yeah, I don't see. I can't see. Uh, or I can't see it, but I don't think Cole will win by unanimous decision because Pacquiao's going to win a lot of early rounds with his speed. And if with Pacquiao winning, the only way I see that happen is if he jumps in and out like he did against Oya and just lands those straight punches 
that jumps in, throws a few punches, jumps back out, jumps in, throws a few punches, jumps back out, and stays away from Cotto the whole fight. Because Pacquiao does have good stamina and he can do that. I just hope he doesn't, just because, like Christian said, we're in, a, we're in an exciting fight where they promise knockouts. And not that we all love boxing, we love the skill in boxing, we love, but it's been a long time since we've seen a good, solid knockout fight. And I don't see Pacquiao being able to do that. And if he tries to, if he tries to aggress and not throw out, um, I think Cole's going to take him out, body shot, forehead shot. He's got enough power to hurt him either way. Okay, so you guys, as you guys can see, we're all going for Cotto. And to be fair to everyone else, we actually brought someone uh, to uh, stamp for Pacquiao. We got a special guest interview with um, Shopsy from Long Island, New York. So, now we just wanted to hear uh, what you thought about Cotto Pacquiao and what your prediction was. Do you, have, do you have a round? I, I, I think it's still going far. I, I'm thinking later rounds, um, 9 to 12. I think eventually Cordo is not going to be able to take it. He's going to get laid out. All right. Well, we appreciate your prediction. I just want to ask you, how do you actually think, uh, where do you think Pacquiao is going to get the power to be able to drop a guy like Cordo with Cordo's chin and Cordo's uh, heart when when Margarito couldn't even do it. the fight with Mosley where Cotto was able to make it look, Cotto looked faster than Mosley in that fight.
Thanks, Charlie. You're welcome, sir.